out of here. So the main answers were B and E. And I, I could just take this as a, as a math question and I could take it as a physics question. So first let's think of it as a math question. Gravitational potential energy is a linear function of the height. If you think of this as, a, as an equation for a line, this is the slope times the height and there's zero intercept. So what I wrote right there is a line through zero with uh, a slope of mg. So a, a line with a, a straight line with a constant slope, m is the mass, g is the gravitational field, and, and both of those are positive numbers. I wrote g was 10. So, and the gravitational potential energy gets higher as the height goes up. So, so you could say, well, just as a, just as a uh, exercise in graphing, here's a straight line. I don't know about the slope. I can't see the units very well. Hopefully I wrote, a, I wrote down a reasonable slope. But this is certainly a straight line with a positive slope and zero intercept. Zero is at the center here and so it runs through zero right there. Um, this is also a straight line. And, and zero is at a different height. Zero is not at height zero, it's at some other height. Now, I've already told you that it's okay to shift the zero around. That really doesn't change physics at all. So actually, B and C are both straight lines that would work for gravitational potential energy. Both of them are fine. The main other answer was E, and the, there's two problems with E. One of them is kind of physics. If you're higher than zero, the potential energy goes up. Okay, that's true. If you're lower than zero, does the p gravitational potential energy go up? No, if I bore a hole in the floor here, if I call the floor zero and I bore a hole in the floor here and I drop the ball through, so the gravitational potential energy is going down as I go down toward the hole, so it's going fast, so the kinetic energy is going up, it's going faster and faster. If the gravitational potential energy below the hole went back up again, then what would happen to that ball? It'd slow down and stop and, and come back toward the floor again and it would just oscillate up and down. In fact, uh, maybe that's giving it away. Uh, so that's kind of a physics issue. There's a math issue too and, and that's that this isn't a straight line. This is a curve. So gravitational potential energy is a straight line as a function of height near the Earth. It's a curve, not a curve like this, it's a curve if you want to continue uh, to graph gravitational potential energy all the way out to the moon. Because when you get to higher, when you get to, when the height changes a lot, like more than just 50 feet or even more than a thousand feet, then G is going to start to change. And so your slope's really not a constant. But you have to get way out into outer space or, or at least to the top of Mount Everest before you can even notice that. So, then C. so we're going to go either B or C will work. B and C are both fine answers. B is the one that I've literally drawn here. C is okay because you get to shift zero around any way you want to. So C is equivalent to B essentially. Which is the best graph of P.E. spring versus height? I'll give you a minute. <laughs> 